up guys, George right here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS from the latest version of iOS, which is iOS uh, 6.1.6 to iOS 4.1. I know for the moment it is impossible, but I discovered a new way and hopefully no one will copy my video. You hear me, Ario? Okay, and um, with this new method, you can downgrade your iPhone your, your iPhone 3GS to iOS 4.1. I don't know why would you do that, but there are still people that want to downgrade their devices, so let's get to work. So, the main scenario is that Apple still signed this iOS 4.1 IPSW. Nobody knows why they do that. They signed this IPSW, but you cannot restore it with iTunes, because if you restore it with iTunes, it will try to restore the baseband and the baseband version of this IPSW is not signed anymore. They only signed the latest uh, version of baseband, therefore you cannot go back to this uh, IPSW. Does it surprise you? And there was a workaround on YouTube, the only workaround for this was to uh, install a, an iPad baseband, but this was only compatible with, you, with um, iPhone 3GS units made with the old boot room, which are very rare. And also, uh, there was a huge chance to break your device. With this method, you don't break anything and it's original, it's created by me, by a long uh, range of discoveries and research, and also will, uh, will allow you to place calls and receive messages on your SIM card. Let's go to work. Okay, so first of all, you will need the IPSW you want to downgrade, which is 4.1. It only works with 4.1. And let me show you the behavior, but first of all, let's determine what boot room we have. First of all, you go to Snowbreeze, you click OK, select this IPSW, because it's compatible with it, and you will get this uh, dialog, which says, Hi there, is your iPhone 3G as an old or new boot room? Okay, and I gotta say, detect it for me, because I don't know. I do know it's a new boot room, but I gotta detect it. So I have to put your device in DFU mode, and as you can see, the iPhone 3GS connected is in new boot room. You can quit or cancel this thing up, because you no longer need it, and you need to attempt to do so. But let me show you what happens if you try to restore with iTunes. This is not a part of the tutorial, but it's just my proof that you couldn't restore such uh, IPSW, even if it's res even if it's signed by Apple uh, anymore. And uh, yes, as I said, this is a an original method, and hopefully Ariorakip won't copy my videos as he um, he does with anything from my channel. Hopefully, you hear me, tech guy. Okay, so um, I gotta open Red Snow for the moment because my device is in uh, recovery mode, and I gotta kick it out. Nah, fuck off. It doesn't uh, work this way. I gotta open FC365 Firmware Manager. As I said, this is not a part of the tutorial. Just wait a little bit for me to restart my phone. That's the way it is. Okay, and now let me show you in iTunes what happens for if you uh, try to actually restore this uh, this IPSW on your iPhone 3GS. You will get an error, but let me show you how. Okay guys, as you can see right here, uh, the iTunes says that a new version, which is 6.1.6, .6, is available for my device. As you can see, this is one of the proofs that my device was restored to iOS 4.1. Okay, but let me show you something. If I click restore and I select that 4.1, and I click restore, it won't work, and I'm gonna tell you why. You have the uh, the signing window open for this uh, iOS 4.1 on Apple, but they don't sign up the um, the baseband of it, so it's only half signed. Therefore, you can't actually do that. Yep, there we go. The iPhone FC 365's iPhone could not be restored. An unknown error occurred. Twenty zero nine. Okay, so uh, this is what we get if we try to restore the, um, okay, it restored it in recovery mode. This is what you get if you try to restore your iPhone uh, on this version without anything modified. And this is, this is why someone on Reddit, on Jailbreak, said that you could have um, been able to 
restore if Apple would have si signed the um, baseband for it. And I got a fix, I created a fix for it. And uh, let's go to the actual tutorial, okay? Okay, so first of all, you need red snow. You open it. Nah, I closed it. You open it. And you gotta go to Extras. Of course, you gotta go to SHSH bloops. Don't worry, you don't need any bloops and you don't need to have them fetched from uh, times ago. You just need to fetch them now. You click New. You select the IPSW for 4.1, not any other. And it will fetch bloops for you. And you click Yes to submit them to Cydia for your iPhone. As you can see, 19 bloops accepted. App ticket is present and valid. You click OK and after that you gotta go back and pound the DFU of your device. In order to pound the DFU of your device, what you need to do is to press the uh, power button and home button until the, sc the screen goes black. Wait and then release the uh, power button and press the home button continuously and keep it pressed until the phone restarts in DFU mode. It will be exploited with Lamarain. Done. We are now in Pwned Boot. In order to uh, be able to restore, because you can't restore in Pwned Boot either. So what you need to do now is to go to even more, restore, IPSW, select the 4.1 and it you will get this dialog. You will click yes and you will wait for it to patch everything. It will upload IBSS. Your screen might get white. It will upload the RAM disk to the kernel. We'll wait for device and as you can see here in the brackets, no BB, which means no baseband. The baseband will remain the latest version, 5.0.5.18 point whatever. And uh, you will get iOS 4.1. And I gotta show you some footages after the um, after the restore is complete, but I'm gonna take some during the restore process too. It's creating the file system. Now the phone shows the Apple logo with the um, progress bar. It doesn't start it increasing yet. Probably soon. Restoring system image. And it started. And I gotta grab my camera now. It's verifying restore now. And uh, meanwhile, I prepared my camera for the action. It will catch the action in a few. Just a second for me to uh, actually catch everything up. Okay. It's checking file systems while I'm trying to shoot a video. Okay guys, as you can see, it's my iPhone 3GS restoring and uh, doing everything right here. And as you can see on the computer, it's doing things up. Okay, it's flashing north. Okay. Now it was successful. We need to quit the thing up. You can see the phone went into the uh, into the recovery mode. For that, we need to fix it, and therefore we have to put it back into the. Uh, into the fixed mode. For that we need to open Red Snow again, go to Extras and go to Recovery Fix and put the device back into the um, into the DFU mode, which will be available in a few seconds. Ah, sorry, I got it wrong. Just a second. Okay, I can release now the uh, this button. Good. Now we are in this uh, in this mode, which uh, is perfect for handling the uh, 
the exploitation. Good. Now you can see we're uh, actually waiting for a reboot. Three, two, one, zero. And it's identifying build, patching files. Uploading RAM disks. Downloading jailbreak. Good. And as you can see, it's done right here. So we finished up with the, uh, the part of the computer and now we carry everything on the phone. And it shows the Apple logo. And I think we're done. Oh no, another progress bar. Okay, we see another progress bar right here. Uh, it's an iPhone 3GS, you want to make sure. Okay, now we are on activation part. We need to go to iTunes. In order to activate the uh, device itself. Okay. So I gotta be uh, powering this on. And as you can see, it probably got already activated. Yes, it does. We're gonna click continue and I'm gonna swipe, get started. Is this iOS 4.1? It is. Okay, and uh, you can see I also have carrier. Sorry if uh, you cannot see very good, but in this corner right here, it says Leica Mobile Edge. Uh, let me try to um, lower the brightness of this device for you to be able to see better. Nope. Okay, you got it. It's um, it's like a mobile 3G. And I gotta go here in general and um, go to about, network, like a mobile, line, like a mobile. And gotta go to network, disable those cellular things. Good, you can see very good right here. Okay, and I gotta go to uh, general and about. You can see very good, it's uh, iOS 4.1 and the build right here, carrier 8.0 and the modem firmware is 05.16.08, uh, which is the latest version and I really hope you like this video. And don't forget that this is not tethered, you can restart your phone at every moment, it's not tethered, it's untethered, you can restart your phone without booting it to um, with red snow and anything like that. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.